I'm Al McRobbie from Salig Company, and today we're going to look at the PicoScope 3000 oscilloscope range. And as usual, Pico makes a whole bunch of different models within the range. So I've got two examples here that shows the differences between the regular analog scope unit and the MSO. Now the, the confusion comes sometimes when people see the D in back of the regular analog scope and that doesn't mean digital, it just means it's the D series or the D part of that. Now what I have right here is the PicoScope 3000 MSO and so if you need logic analysis uh, then you need to order the MSO unit. This is the regular uh, series over here. These are both uh, four channel scopes as you can see. Now the analog bandwidth that you get with these is, is in steps of uh, 50, 70, 100, 200 megahertz. And you can get up to one gig of sample per second depending on what the bandwidth is. You get 512 me uh, mega samples of, of buffer memory. Uh, you get 100,000 waveforms per second. And you get uh, an arbitrary waveform generator built in to either model. This one has uh, two of them here in the front. This one here has one in the back. That's because of the MSO part or the, the digital part is in the front right there. They are USB 2.0 or 3.0 connectable right here. They're compatible. And um, let's see, what else can I say about these things is that certain, certain models have uh, an AC adapter input on the back of them here too. Um, the, the models that are the, the lower channels, just maybe a two-channel scope and not the uh, MSO series, can run directly off the USB. Or they can, uh, <clears throat> they can run off uh, USB and, you know, that has a, a two-headed USB on it to get more power from the computer. So that's, that's a basic introduction.